It is a gorgeous fall day out here today. The leaves are falling, it is cool and crisp. It is a perfect day for camping. Today we are gonna be unboxing, setting up and reviewing this inflatable camp chair from Lux Choice. This is available on Amazon and we'll have a link below. I can tell you before we even go any farther, this thing is absolutely amazing. I bought two of them, I opened one up last night and today I'm gonna open this one right along with you guys and show you everything there is to know about it. The first thing we need to do though is blow off this deck there are leaves and debris all over the place and the last thing we want is to damage our inflatable and now that we have a clean area to work let's go ahead and start unboxing this thing so this is an inflatable chair available on Amazon from a company called Lux Choice. They also make a love seat, but for our adventure, we wanted two single chairs. Now, as you can see, this does come with an Oxford cloth carrying bag. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. But for anybody who says you'll never get that back in the bag, I wanted to show you this right from the beginning. It is back in the bag. So when you receive this from Amazon, it comes in another box, and this is the box that the actual product comes in. So it is double packed and is going to be protected in shipping. The measurements of this chair are 39 inches by 31 inches by 31 inches. And even though it says right on the box, single inflatable air sofa, this is in fact a chair. So you can see there is a lot of tape holding this closed. You can use a knife to cut it, but since this is an inflatable, you wanna be very careful with it. If you just pick at the tape a little bit, you can get it off just by pulling it. Kind of a pain in the butt and you might damage your box a little bit, but it's better than damaging the actual inflatable chair. So when we open up the box, you can see right away, there is the bag that it fits right back in when you're done with it. This has two handles, it has a drawstring on it, and the inflatable itself is packed inside there in its own plastic bag. This little pack is inside the box, but not inside the drawstring bag. I'll show you what's in there in just a minute. But when I buy a product, presentation is very important to me. And I gotta say, this bag looks pretty dang cool. You can see it has a 007 on here. And if you're a dude, you're already thinking about James Bond. It has all the information about your chair printed right on the bag. And at first I thought that was gonna be cheesy, but you gotta admit, that looks pretty dang cool. Lux Choice Air Sofa. Life is so much easier when you just chill out. This is Oxford 600D cloth. Always keep your air sofa fully inflated when in use. The weight is 18.7 pounds. Max load is 660 pounds. And that was one of the main selling features for me because I am a big guy. Not only that, but being able to handle that much weight, you know that it was made with much more quality than another chair that can only hold two to 300 pounds. Okay, let's go ahead and get this out of the bag here. So we have an owner's manual here. It kind of describes how to set this up. You can read through that, but it's honestly pretty self-explanatory. So before we unfold this here, I'm going to show you that right in the end, this comes with its own built-in air pump. We'll go ahead and get it unfolded and then I will show you some more about that. So this is pretty compact. This is the size of it before you begin to inflate it. We'll go ahead and turn it around here and let's talk about this pump because this is a really, really cool feature. The pump is built in and it recesses right back into the back of the inflatable. So you never even know it's there. You don't need to carry it along separately. It has a little handle on it and you can pull it right out. And I'm gonna show you how this benefits us in just a second here. But as you can see, it has a USB-C on the bottom, so this is rechargeable. Now, honestly, for camping, I prefer battery-powered items. However, this is not gonna be a problem because we use solar panels to recharge things like this, which I'm gonna talk about in another video. But looking at the pump here, here is the bottom. There is that USB-C charger. This is the end that inflates that actually blows the air out into the inflatable. And this is the end that deflates. When we're done, I'm gonna show you how to use this end to easily deflate your chair. We've got the little folding handle here that makes it easy to take it out and replace it. And we've got the on off button here. And if we hit that switch, 
you can hear that it turns on. And both of mine came like that right out of the package. It did not require an initial charging before I could use it. However, I can't promise that that's how they all arrive. So you're better off to charge it right away when you get it. So that sits right in there. You can close the door when you're done. But to inflate it, we need to have the door open and we need to have this valve completely shut. This actually has two caps on it. One of them is a bleeder valve. The other one completely shuts off the air. This is the same kind of valve up here but the top inflates separately from the bottom. So for now, this one does not have to be shut. So I'm going to go ahead and inflate this on top of the hot tub here so you can see what it looks like. And then I'm going to set it right down here on the deck and show you how awesome it is with this big guy sitting in it. Now I know I cleaned off the deck already, but I put down this extra thick rug here just to be safe because I did notice there are still some little twigs sticking out here. There are some sharp edges on the deck. I just want to be extra careful not to pop this thing. We don't spend good money on this stuff so we can and destroy it. So when you're ready to inflate, you just make sure that that valve is closed, open this up, and turn the pump on. Now that took about 30 seconds to inflate that entire bottom piece. I closed this, but we're actually going to need that pump to inflate the top. And you can go ahead and push this valve in so it's not sticking out. And then close the back with the Velcro and move on to the top. Now this is where this little bag comes in. This little bag has some pieces parts in it. We got two patches to repair this in case it gets damaged. We have a USB to a USB-C to charge the pump. And then we have three nozzles that you're gonna need to inflate and deflate the chair. Now, when we get around to deflating, you're gonna want the biggest nozzle and you're gonna want this to be completely open. But to inflate the top, we wanna insert this bleeder valve that will allow air to go in, but not come out. And we're gonna use the medium sized nozzle that fits right on over the inflation valve. Stick that right in there and hit the button. So that took about another 30 seconds, 40 seconds to inflate the top there. And since we have a bleeder valve, we can go ahead and just pull this out and no air is gonna escape. But you do still wanna close this top valve here just to help prevent it. Just like we did with the other one, you can push that in if you want to, but either way, the Velcro flap will cover it up. And I absolutely love that when you're done using it for the moment, you can open up the back, slide that right in and close it. As you use the chair, it's naturally going to lose a little bit of air from time to time. So it's so awesome. You can just open this right back up, hit that button and add a little bit more air. So here's how your chair looks completely inflated. It looks absolutely awesome. Now, when I was first looking at these online and I saw the prints on the bottom here, I thought it was going to be ugly, but in person, it actually looks really cool. And if you don't like it, all you have to do is throw a blanket over it anyway. So I'm going to sit in this in a second and we're going to talk about how absolutely awesome and comfortable it is. But first I want to show you the actual measurements. So it factually is 39 inches wide, 31 inches deep, 22 inches tall, and the area you sit in is 25 inches wide by 24 inches deep. And in addition, the headrest comes up another seven inches. So let's go ahead and try this bad boy out. This thing is absolutely the most comfortable inflatable chair I have ever sat in. Honestly, I'm like 350 pounds and there is plenty of space in here for me. It feels as good as an inflatable chair can possibly feel. I don't feel any air going out and leaning back, it does not feel like it's gonna tip backwards on me. The backrest is actually very solid and doesn't feel like you're struggling to stay seated upright. Much more comfortable than I ever expected it to be. And I can't imagine there is a better inflatable chair out there. Now, now, after sitting in it for a few minutes here, I do feel like it lost a little bit of air. So like I said, all you had to do is go back around, turn on the pump, blow it up a little bit more. And having experience with inflatable furniture before, you're probably going to have to go back and forth doing that from the bottom to the top a couple of times. Once it's broken in, it should be perfectly fine. And you might have to do it a couple more times throughout your camping adventure. But it is like that with every inflatable. So that is not a downside. So there it is, guys. Inflatable chair by Lux. 
Deluxe Choice available on Amazon for $115. I will have a link below. Like I said, they also have a love seat sofa available for a little bit more money. I think it's about $170. This is definitely a quality product. I'm glad I bought this. There are other ones available on the market, but I can't imagine they would be any better quality than this one. And before we go, we are going to put it back in the bag. Anytime I do a review of an inflatable product, people always tell me you'll never get it back in the bag. Well, I'm going to show you right now that that is possible. We're going to spin this thing around. We're going to open up our valve here, open up both of them. There's a giant hole here that's going to allow the air to come out. If you want it to go faster, you can pull out your pump and apply the largest nozzle to the top. Now, this is the part that will suck the air right out. That goes right on there. Stick it in there and hit the button. And that sucks the air right out. You might have to go along here and help get every last bit of it out, but that part is deflated. You can leave that open. And the same with the bottom. Open that up, the air begins to come out. You can either sit on it to push the air out, or again, you can use your pump, stick it in there, turn it on. And it sucks it right out. Put everything back where it belongs. Pump right back in the back. Leave your valves open. Fold it up just like that. Slide it right in the bag, cinch it up, paper bag it, and you're done. <laughs>